Hey guys, Todd here with Avalanche Audio Video with a quick uh, Squarespace tutorial. Um, this is in regards to Squarespace um, galleries and how they kind of dynamically display content on your site. Um, it's a really cool way to display images or videos um, or text, I guess, across your website and you kind of host it all in one space and then you can make changes there and it'll dynamically display um, anywhere you have that uh, gallery displayed on your site. So um, really quick, let's just, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go in and create a gallery and say we want to create, put some icons on the front of our website that kind of describe our business. So I'm going to just call them icons and let's just grab a few icons. Cool. Let's maybe rearrange these a bit and we will name them Maybe we'll call this one, we'll say, uh, completely uh, customizable, and then some text here. Yeah, cool. And then we'll do a quick turnaround, some text here. And maybe this one will say international uh, hubs. Some text here. Okay, cool. So now we have our gallery. We want to display this gallery. These are just kind of hosted here, just sitting here. What's cool is if I go into a page, a regular page here on Squarespace, and I click edit, I can add a block. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do doesn't happen when you display that gallery as a gallery. It only happens when you display it as a summary, which in my opinion gives you a little bit more flexibility because you can you can have text along with the icons. Uh, in a gallery you can't. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me display this as a summary carousel and it's gonna ask me what gallery do I want to display as the summary and I'm gonna click icons. That was our new, our new gallery. So you can already see kinda of what's what's happening. Um, if I go into layout, you can change how they display as a list or a grid. I'm going to keep it as a carousel. Let me change the header to maybe uh, about us. And I'm going to change this to one by one square, which is the aspect ratio of the thumbnails. Keep it at three items per row since we only have three. Leave this text size at medium and I'll center this text. And then I, I want to get rid of this date because it really has no uh, bearing on what we're talking about here. So let me just get rid of that. And cool. So I'm going to hit apply. All right. Really cool. Looks good. Looks very clean and professional. Bad thing. When you go into this, you can, you can click on these and it just brings up this light box like you're trying to display this image. It's just not a very uh, user-friendly thing. Um, so let's go back here. What I want to do is disable the click event, um, pointer event, I guess you'd technically call it, on this particular block. And you may not want to do it. You could make this as a global change, but then it would happen on every gallery or summary uh, block that you display, and you may not want to do it that way. So you may want it to apply to some galleries, but not others. So let me show you with CSS how to go in and disable the cursor event on this particular block. So I'm going to go into Design, Custom CSS, and I'm going to just name this piece of code really quick, and I'm going to call it uh, Disable Pointer Event on uh, Icons. This is just a clean way to uh, comment your code. So what we need to do is we need to target uh, this particular block. Now, it might be fairly easy uh, with this one because we only have one, but say you had 100 blocks on a page, uh, there's a cool little uh, f application called Squarespace Collection Block Identifier on the Chrome Web Store, and you can install it. And what it'll do is you just turn it on on whatever Squarespace you're, you're currently at, 
and it'll just display the blocks for you and you, you click it and it copies it to your clipboard really cool now that that's that only gets us so far we we need to start with this block and as I paste this in there this is kind of our starting point but we need to drill down a little bit further so to do that I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna open up uh, Chrome inspector and what I'm gonna do is you can see as I start as, as I have my um, inspector clicked here as I start hovering over things it starts displaying in the Squarespace uh, code wh what it is so what I need to target is this entire block. So as I as I move around and I move outward, you can see now I'm if I click this, uh, you can see what happened. It it highlighted. Uh, you can see it up at the. You can see it when I click. See the div tag. It says uh, the end. The ending number in that orange string there is five two six three, which is the block that we needed to start with. Cool. What I need to do is I need to go a little bit deeper. So you can see where it says 5263.sqs-block.summary. Cool. What I need to do is I need to grab uh, just this SQS block summary v2. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dot and then I'm gonna paste it in. Here's the key to this, and this is really strange. And if if you can if you know why, tell me. I'm not sure. Logic would say you just you make another dot and you drill further down into uh, the thumbnail container, which if I can show you here, it's uh, summary dash thumbnail dash container, and then we're inside. So now we can we can make our CSS. So what we need to do is we need to disable. We need to go pointer events and go none. In theory, you'd think that would do it, but it doesn't. Here's the weird thing. If you put a space after this summary block v2, that's what does it. It's very strange. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. <laughs> so what we just did is we just disabled the, the pointer event on the thumbnails themselves, not on the text. So you could, because you may want to make the text uh, clickable and, and make it a link to another page whatever so now if I hit save and I expand this out you can see now we've got this dynamically displayed gallery but I it's not throwing up these big giant light box events that when I click on these images um, so yeah that is a quick um, intro into the gallery um, customization in Squarespace thanks for watching